Hello and welcome to another Hades tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to merge an animal face into a human face. Like this here. Um, I supply uh, the resources so if you want to follow me along um, you can do or you can use your own. There's loads out there on Google Images. So let's get started. So first you want to bring in your picture that you want to uh, manipulate. And I supply these pictures in the description on YouTube if you want to follow it along too. But then you want to bring in your lion picture. Um, we're going to place it in on top of our, our face. And we lower the opacity now so we can see the girl in the background. And we'll scale it down. And the reason I do this is because you want to see where her eyes are and you want to get the eyes of the lion just overlapping them so it's, the face doesn't look uh, unproportioned. Yeah, it looks okay there. And when you're happy you have a place okay then uh, just apply the transformation and then zoom out. Um, we can increase the opacity of this back to 100% now. Now when you have that done, we're going to click this little icon down at the bottom right hand corner and it will bring up that white box, a mask. And what this does is, if you choose your brush tool and uh, make sure the colour is black, whenever you draw over that image now, then pixels will be deleted. And then if you want to bring them back, you can get the white and white brings it back. So we're going to just keep working with the black for now and we're going to just delete a good bit of the pixels. Don't worry about if you think you deleted too much because that's the good thing about masks is you can bring them pixels back. Now, when you have that done, we're going to get a smaller brush now. This is about 20 pixels. And we're going to choose white now. And when we're on the mask, we will... Actually, I missed a little bit there. Yeah, but we will... Bring in them pixels very finely, just to the edge of where our face is. So we click and we drag them back, and we brush them back in, like that. Now, when you have that done, now we're going to duplicate this layer, and to. to the control for that is uh, uh, press and hold control and then press J or you can just right click the layout and then you can click uh, duplicate but we'll go to the bottom duplicate now the first one and we are going to stretch it so we we'll click on the or move to and we'll take that box show transform controls and we'll just drag this up like that and bring it back down Okay, there, and we just apply the transformation. And whenever you have, whenever you just want to get up to the top, there, and we're going to mask off all the, uh, the stuff at the bottom because we don't want that. So we get our brush tool again and make sure we're on our mask, and we choose a black brush, and we will mask it out. Now we're going to duplicate this layer again. So press Control and then press J, and but this time we're going to drag this over. Sorry, select the bottom layer. We're going to keep working on the bottom layers. So with the bottom one, just drag it over a little bit till it meets the edge of our head, and then we go to our mask then again, and we get a brush and then mask off what we don't want. Now what I did there is, do you see the lines? Oh, that line there, it looks repetitive. So the good thing about that is, see whenever you made a, a layer underneath, that line's not going to be there because you stretched it. So we can go back to our middle one and where that line is and we can mask that out as well. See?
Sinne ei gaan zeer. Uh, yeah. Now we go to our bottom layer again and we duplicate this one. Nearly finished now. And we drag this over. And again, we're going to just going to mask it off again. So we just want to meet the where hair where the hair starts, and I mean if you bring too much, uh, take too much off, you can get your white brush down and bring it back in. See, there you, now you have the face. Oh, um, what you can do then is you can select all these layers by pressing and holding and shift. And whenever you click on, you have one layer selected, and you click on the top one, it will select all them layers. And we're going to drag this down into this little icon, the group. And it will group all them layers into one group. And we can mask these groups as well, so we're going to mask off a bit of the face. Now it will um, apply to all these layers now. So we get our black brush, and we just erase to show a bit of our face. like that so you've reached the end of the tutorial i uh, hope you liked it and if you did like it please do subscribe because there's going to be lots more tutorials to come in the future bye bye